So do you think your obsession with your physical body began as a child, with your looks, with be began from the taunting that you received? Because you have so. changed drastically from like yeah. your early career and suddenly Susan. Right. You know, you, you are really a very attractive woman who works at what you look like and who takes a lot of care and is willing to talk about yeah. what you have done, but not necessarily why you did it. Well, I think definitely starting as a kid, I, I would say that most of the insults were related to the way I looked because you know, the kids didn't really have much in any other department, meaning I was a pretty bright kid, actually. Mm -hmm. I was pretty funny. I'm sure like you learned to be funny very early on and can remember specifically, like in the middle of an ass kicking at Catholic school, joking my way out of it. And yeah. if I could just get the bully to laugh, the other ones really would kind of back off. So, I mean, I remember one time getting jacked at a park and- um, You mean physically? Yes. Like you got physically beat up? Yes. Okay. Uh, by girls, I actually never got, I was never beaten up by a boy. Um, and I remember one time very specifically in school and I re I'll just never forget that nun doing nothing. And I, I never forgot that. I never could get, like I just couldn't believe that the nun who with one little look could have stopped it mm -hmm. and just acted like it wasn't happening. And so a girl from, what grade were you? Couple we girls, uh, uh, I don't know, probably like third grade. Couple girls, you know, the Catholic school, the uniforms, the whole thing. And for whatever reason, they were beating me up at lunchtime. Who knows what happened, I don't even know. But the part that stuck with me is the nun walking out, and I remember thinking, okay. I'm safe. I'm safe now. And that nun just walking right by. And, you know, it was such an interesting culture about how, as you know, sometimes, and my sister's a teacher, and so I'm not saying teachers aren't awesome, because they are. Sometimes in that culture, as you know, sometimes the person of authority or the teacher will almost want to be in kind of with the mean kids, mm. or sometimes maybe pander to those kids a little bit. So I was a freaking scrappy little kid, you know? So I think uh, the insults didn't come my way. People didn't accuse me of being, you know, stupid or couldn't ma make a joke or couldn't take a joke. It was, if anything, they were gonna focus on the way I looked. So, I, I mean, that part started and then I didn't start really doing anything about it, I guess, until later when I really did have agents say things like, I mean, I remember a one agent saying, you know, you really would be a success if you didn't have that big nose. When did they say that? I was. 19, 20, had just moved to California. And you were doing improv or stand-up? I was doing, um, I was going to probably junior college taking acting classes and I don't know if I'd even started the Groundlings yet, the Groundlings improv sketch group. And so when the, someone said that to you, did you think right away, I'm gonna fix it? I thought they knew what they were talking about. You did. And I started saving for a nose job. Right then? Yes. Is that the first thing you did? Yes. And did you like it right away? Um, I just thought it was the thing to do. I mean, I remember well, I being mean, hurt. You were healed, right? You, you got it done, you were healed, the bruises went away, you looked in the mirror and you saw a different face or a different nose. Yeah. Did you like what you were looking at? I did, I thought, did. I kind of liked the new nose. Yeah. I mean, what's, what's ironic is, it really wasn't a very radical nose job and I gotta admit, there was a part of me that thought, it doesn't really look that different. Right. You know, the, the big one though is when I got, in 2000, I got a whole thing, and like People Magazine covered it, and Entertainment Tonight, and all the stuff that you would never do. That I would hate. Hate. And that you covet. Hate. I know.